So we're clamming for horse clams. They're sometimes referred to as a poor man's gooey duck. They're very large clams. They can be five to six pounds. Uh, so there's one right here, and you can tell the horse clams easily because they have a really big neck. And they live, the, the, you know, the big horse clams are really the only ones that are worth getting. You don't want to get the small ones. So this is a decent sized horse clam. Uh, it's leaving a hole about the size of a silver dollar, a little bigger than a quarter. So the way I'm, my technique for getting it is, uh, this is my favorite clam digging shovel. It's just a garden shovel. It's, the head is a half size on a full uh, neck. And I like that because I dig up less um, sand with each scoop and I can use the, the long handle for leverage. Let me show you how I do it. This, someone else showed me how to do this, who harvests these guys regularly. And I go around in a circle and uh, I move my body rather than the shovel around the, the clam in the circle because it uses the same muscle group that I, I can do whatever feels the most comfortable and stay in that position, keep in that position because this is, this is definitely an endurance thing. Yeah, you probably want at least six to make a meal and, uh, and uh, that's a lot of digging. So I'm just going to try and dig this guy out real quick and show you how it's done. Along the way, if you're gentle, on this beach we're finding angel wing clams and they are in between the surface and the horse clams, but that's not really what we're going for right now, so I might kill a few, um, but that's why it's good to only get a few of these horse clams, because it is fairly destructive clamming. his tongue tree. Like, I know roughly where he's at. I'm trying to pause to save any. So there he is. You can see him. This is his tongue sticking out. They can't pull the tongue all the way into their bodies. And uh, but they have a foot at the bottom that they dig with right there. So that's how they dig, but they can't dig very fast. So that's a horse clam. I'm going to eat his tongue, and I'm going to make juice, nectar, uh, clam nectar out of the, the juice, and then some of the some of the uh, meat will turn into chowder meat. That's how you dig for horse clams.